All right, today's not gonna be your average tutorial day. So normally for tutorials, I'm sitting at home, I'm in my office and we do the whole, there's an intro, intro of the video, and then we get down to the details, the outro, and that's kind of like the format. Thing is, about formats and about YouTube, I get tired of them. Second of all, you get tired of them. Third of all, if you wanna keep stuff interesting in your life, you gotta change it up. No one has ever been happy being complacent, so I wanna change things up a bit for my channel. Now, I'm not saying no more tutorials, I'm just saying maybe I wanna change up the format a little bit of how I give you guys those tutorials. I'm on my way to my friend Yan's house. Yan, who's also my barber, but him and his brother Sean are also beat makers and producers. And we're currently working on something for myself. Maybe I'll give you a sneak peek today, maybe. Maybe not. I want to go perform something to them. And then I'm going to teach you guys how that works. Oh, by the way, these glasses are like my backup glasses. I've lost my sunglasses, so I'm wearing these uh, YouTube glasses. Uh, don't let don't let that fool you. These probably cost about 30 cents to make probably the cheapest glasses I own. And to boot, they're too small. They don't even like wrap around my ear correctly. But uh, when in doubt, I got to show you this one thing. Ducks just sit here all winter long. I have no idea why. I guess they don't know that they can go down south. They're freezing. There's hundreds of them and they sit in this little stream and they just stay there all winter. Park here. Those are all ducks just sitting there being chill. Most importantly, you can't show up to the studio without bringing some gifts. What's up? Que pasa, Molly! Hi Molly, what's this? Is that a camera? Is that a camera? Okay, run, 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 go, go, go. Such a cool dog. Molly, how you doing? I'm good, man. You ready? Ready. Oh, there he is. Yo, 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 yo. So, dude, have a good you? Yeah. You ready to make a masterpiece today? Every day, every day, all day. <sighs> Always. I'm super cyan mode today. <laughs> Put fire on his head after effects. <laughs> Here, play a beat. Make something up on the fly right now. Oh, a little lo fi beat. All right guys, I promised you a tutorial, but first we're gonna have a little performance so my man Yan here doesn't know, doesn't know what to expect. I'm gonna have you hold my phone. All right, give these a nice little shuffle. What you're holding right now. Your phone. Yeah, but you're holding something more than my phone. A piece of the past. Okay. Yeah, and at the same time, a piece of the future. Yeah, and I want you to go ahead and say stop whenever you like. Stop. Right there? Yep. All right. I want you to take that card and don't show it to me, you can show it to the camera. You got it? Yep. All right, put it back. We don't need the cards anymore. We'll put this away. So you got a card in your mind right now. Yes, sir. This is cool. Hopefully this works. <laughs> but what I mean is that I took a picture on my phone this morning, but you just picked a card now. Yeah. So all right, turn my phone over. Back out. All right, right there. All right. Can you see that in the camera? I want you to keep your finger on. Yeah, just keep it. <laughs> you whole team? Oh shit. Thank you. I'm gonna teach you guys that, but I'm not gonna teach it to you here because or else these guys will know the secret. So what I'll do is I'm gonna actually travel to the past this morning where I taught it. So let's do that now. Alright, so welcome back to the past. <laughs> So again, this tutorial is not like the other tutorial. It's gonna be short and sweet because this is actually something that I use. And you know what? It's just kind of like one of those throwaway ideas. And one of the things that I loved about starting this sort of tutorial journey where I teach you guys stuff is not always having something that's super intricate, complicated, or anything like that, but just something that's honestly easy to learn, easy to do, and uh, doesn't take up too much of your time learning it. So. Well, let's get into it. First off, uh, this works with an iPhone. Now, I know a lot of you Android users or Samsung users out there are probably really 
pissed off. Thing is, I'm pretty sure this also works for Android. You just kind of have to figure that out on your own. I don't know Android, so I'm not gonna pretend to explain how to do this for an Android because I've never actually held one in my hand. So probably better off if you guys just Google it. Google live photo on Android and you should be able to get it. I know that the backgrounds on Androids also allow you to have live photos. I just don't know how you're going to, to, to do that. So you guys check that out. But for those of you who have iPhones, this is actually a pretty cool thing. So first of all, all you need is a deck of cards. Now mind you, this does not, this does not have to be a playing card. It could be a word. It could be a color, a shape, or anything you want to force. Uh, so once you force this, uh, then all you have to do is reveal it. So this is a really cool way of revealing a playing card. Uh, what I did in the video is I just used a simple riffle force, which looks like this. You've got the nine of spades on top. You wanna cut it to the middle and keep a pinky break. You ask them to say stop as you riffle down here. And no matter where they say, uh, you're going to cut at that break, okay? But when you do it in fast succession, kind of looks like this. Feels like they stopped wherever they wanted to, but they actually stopped the card and you forced them. If you're interested in learning any other methods to force a card, I have a whole video on three different forces that are super easy that you can do. Go check that video out. And then after that, all you need to do is take a photo, a live photo. So you grab your iPhone, I'll show you this in real time. So this is my playing card. This is the photo I'm going to take. You're going to make sure this is on. This up here is your live photo indicator. That's off and now it's on, meaning you have a live photo. All you're gonna do here is very simple. You're gonna turn the card this way to see the back of it. And you're gonna take a photo and then just show that side. Now when I look back at that photo, boom, so here it is. And you keep your finger on this photo. Here's what it looks like. And obviously you won't get the audio capped it on that. You'll only get the video when you put it as a background. So then very simple, you go to your settings. Once you're in settings, you go to the wallpaper. You then click choose new background, set as lock screen. And there you go. After that, you're all set and you will have this image of a playing card, the back of a playing card on your phone. You just have them uh, put, your, put their finger on it and that picture should start moving without sound and you'll be able to reveal a card. The reason again that I love this so much is that it's so simple and honestly, one of the more powerful effects in magic is when obviously you don't force a card and it's a freely named or freely thought of card or object or word. And so sometimes just having that on your phone, not actually using it, having someone pick a card randomly or saying a card and they, and they say eight of clubs or queen of hearts or whatever it is, just having that on your phone and being like, oh, Here's my phone, check it out. Keep your finger on the lock screen and bam, there's their card. And you know, you don't necessarily have to force it. It could just be a backup for when that miraculous moment happens, which is kind of what I use it for. But you know, if you're just, you got a deck of cards, someone's like, show me a trick, have them hold your phone, force a card, do that onto them. And that should work just fine. So that is a really cool way of revealing a card. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, by the way, I got some packages. Let's check them out. My office is a mess. Got a few little packages in the mail. I got this cool puzzle in the mail from Quinton who bought this off Art of Play. So thank you, Quinton. I'm going to check that out and try to solve it. Just not right now. Also, the Bruce Lee deck. I do not currently own a Bruce Lee deck. So thank you so much. Let me take these out, see what they look like for a second here. This kid also sent me a resume apparently. Matthew, thank you so much for the heartfelt printed out document letter. <laughs> Just kidding, man, appreciate you. Thank you for the cards. I'm gonna definitely check these out. What up? These are the Bruce Lee cards by Dan and Dave. So on one side, they look like this, which is really cool, which is really nice. Nice little back design going on here. But on the other side, check this out. Like water. I love that little black line, little Bruce Lee jokers where he's like kicking your face. These are actually super dope. They look really cool. I wouldn't use these to perform because obviously. Thanks, Matthew. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this slash vlog slash stuff. I wanna bring you guys into my world a little bit more and take you outside of this office from time to time because it's driving me. It's driving me nuts a little bit. Ooh, by the way, the 24th, I will be uh, in Ohio, in Columbus, Ohio for Magi Fest, which is gonna be super dope. So if you don't know that already, Magi Fest is a convention for magicians of all types. So whether you're a beginner, an amateur, or an expert, or whatever, you're always invited to Magi Fest. Uh, if you don't have a pass, I don't know if there are any passes left. However, if you're in the Ohio area, in the Columbus area, you can come hang out at the hotel, people hanging out in the lobby all day that don't have a pass. Not encouraging freeloaders here, 
but uh, if you know if you're in the area, come drop by. We'll be jamming. We'll be hanging out. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of friends and getting a lot of a lot of content. What did I just do to my setup. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you did, and uh, subscribe if you're new here. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.